leads the league in steals. She can guard multiple def players for, for Notre Dame, and they're going to need her to play big on both ends of the floor. Notre Dame quick off the tip, gets it inside to Maddie Westbelt. From last year to this year, those that are sophomores and juniors. That is Daly, who had the ball knocked away. Andrea Daly, one of the X factors, according to her coach. But you've got to get back in defensive transition. 5-0 start for the Irish. Citron with the drive, makes it look easy. She has four. Citron and Miles love those one-handed drives. So quickly getting the ball up on the glass. Good move, and now Wagner has some points for BC. Gokdang turns and looks. She can hit from there. And when they can score, Jen, they can set their full court pressure. You've got to be careful of opening up the floor against Notre Dame because they can do this on the back side. They are so good offensively. That's why you have to be disruptive. If you let them do what they want to do, they are too tough. Right now, the Irish running the floor and one coming for Miles. Haven't had to run much offense yet. This is all primary or secondary on the break. And this is how good they are with. KK Bransford, only freshman on this Notre Dame team, number 14 in the game. Miles, too easy, too open on the drive. BC would like to run as well. They've had a tough time when they've gotten right there in the paint. See, Daly has gotten in the paint three times and hasn't converted. Now she has to be able to make those plays, otherwise it's a layup on the other end. The last possession when Tim Van Timmeren had that three, that's the first time they've reversed the ball. They are Evo has her shot blocked. <laughs> it's keeping them at least in. Not going to help the cause for Boston College. Well, they get it right back, though. Now can they convert on the offensive end where they're just two for ten to start this game? Mayer lost it a little bit on the way, but still made good. 11-1 and one on the season, 2-0 in conference play. Narrowly got out of Coral Gables on Thursday night with the victory. And Miami really pushed this Notre Dame team. Executed baseline out of bounds play. Look at Bransford, how deep position she gets. Two feet in the paint. Uses that strong body to get over that left shoulder. Shot off the inbounds, around and out for Van Timmeren. Miles sees Bransford up ahead. And then Wagner not wanting to commit the foul. This is a little more of what we see would like to do when they're flowing into their offense, getting some points in transition. Wagner gets these. And NC State looking to regroup after their loss on the road to Clemson. Final seconds ticking away of quarter number one, blocked by Watson. And this fourth quarter, well, lack of ball security at times during games. Like, that's twice they've misconnected on a high-low pass. But then they can do this and get in transition. She's an early enrollee, made her debut three days after joining the team on Thursday at Miami. Citron. C player and keeps possession under the basket and they've been very good on their blobs. Baseline out of bounds plays. That's what you want to do though. You got to get back, build your wall, make them score against your defense in the quarter court. Miles turns it over this time and the Eagles take advantage. That concerns you. Well, I've been concerned about Notre Dame turning the ball over, especially in late game situations. This year they've had some examples where they've turned it over late and won, and some where they've turned it over late and lost. Mayer, freshman point guard for the Eagles, around and out. And then on the break, Westbell beats everybody down the floor. Terrific distributor, great target inside, and Ruth Riley led him to a national championship. Watson gets the basket and the foul. So before the ball gets to her, she seals, holds the contact. The pass is away from the defense. Mabry going back to Watson. Why not? 
Well, if I'm Neil Ivey, I'm liking the fact that I'm getting a lot of layups off my defense. I'm getting to the free throw line. Watson did well just to keep her fingers on the ball. Jenna Brown into the game. As much as her team has turned it over, you don't get a chance to really plan for the things that you've worked on. Now this right here would be an example of what they expected to be able to do. Yeah, Boston College as a team has not played a true road game since November. And this one continues to see KK Bransford. Lacey having to run the point with Taina Mayer on the bench in foul trouble for Boston College. 13th turnover leads to more points in transition for Notre Dame. Meanwhile, Notre Dame a point away from 50 in the first half. Daly can't get it. Van Timmer in the offensive rebound she makes good on. Olivia Miles, little spin. Looking for Westbelt, has it swatted. Gokdang, one of the best in the country last year as a freshman doing that for Boston College. When they haven't gotten back, Debbie, they've opened up those corridors for Notre Dame to have an easy look on the inside. And there's Miles making it look easy. She's now in double digits. By the way, Wagner now with two fouls after she fouled Miles on that drive. Van Timmeren has it blocked. I mean, she, she averages 14.9 per game, which is just behind Miles' 15. She just does everything so well, but almost so quietly as Miles picks up a couple more. An honorable mention All-American by AP. And, that, and that's not saying anything negative about Miles. It's just a preference, I think. Now I'm going to pull the coaches and see what I can come up with. You know, who, who they would prefer, um, you know, anonymously, not giving up. See, look at that play. This is drawn with a dive Smooth. to the bucket. And I think Neil Ivey is very happy she doesn't have to make the choice. She's got them both yes. on her roster. Block there oh, from good Watson. Point. Is what matters here. Because if, if you're playing UConn, like they played UConn in one, you play like that, you're going to win a lot of games. Okay? That's the, that's the challenge. But also has a, a greater vision for what's coming down the road. Yeah, I think you and I were talking about that with Neil when we spoke with her yesterday. What was so impressive about that. She genuinely likes the potential of this team. They've got great chemistry, and if they could just kind of put it all together. The Georgia Tech win was significant because that's a very good Georgia Tech basketball team. That's a good win for them at home. You gotta learn how to play on the road. Notre Dame is just outscoring the Eagles by one. Well, because BC has to turn the ball over, right? They're getting yeah. better looks, and Mayer back-to-back buckets. Daly drives it again, takes it with her left. It's good. But yes, typically that is a part of Mabry's arsenal, a part of every Mabry's arsenal that has played at Notre Dame. Does have next Thursday off. Their next game will be our game that we've got next Sunday in an Irish uniform. Good move inside. And you got to give some credit to Notre Dame's D. But they like Citron off this Iverson action because she can That's score why. in the paint. And plenty more games to come today on ACCN. This started off a triple header of ACC women's hoops as Mabry can't finish on the break. With the schedule that they have in front of them and, and have a chance to win in the ACC regular season. But uh, I don't think it's a must win because I do think that more minutes here today. And just her second appearance for Notre Dame. Bransford steps into the shot. It's good. Well, she has 16 now. That matches her career high that she had against Ball State earlier this season. I mean... She's showing off a little bit today, here in the second half. That's what I said, you know, BC, no pressure on them now. Just come out and play. Don't look at the scoreboard, just play.
Yeah, it, it's been a concern and the biggest question mark that I have about Notre Dame as they get a steal and a turnover by BC. Now they're equal in number of turnovers. In the NCAA tournament, that was part of the story there. I will say, though, that Yale Ivy felt fairly confident in this team. Oh, Miles goes to the basket, knocks over. She won't mind us having a little fun. And the Citron continues to work for Notre Dame. Mayer up and over Citron, couldn't finish. Daly gets it back for the Eagles and adds two more. She's got five in this quarter. Daly just a sophomore, only averaged about five minutes per game last season. Obviously much bigger role now as Miles goes to the basket again for those two. Yeah, we're not going with fire and ice. That's uh, no. Corciani no. and Monroe from NC State back in the day Yeah, on the men's side. Nice drive there to the basket by Ava McGee. And if you need somebody to go to the gym and rebound, you can usually get the walk-on to go with you because they're willing to do that. That's the kind of selfless team players they usually are. Marshall turns around, has her first two points. But certainly, uh, Duke played really well. They will get the win, 85-48, and prove to 3-0 in conference play. Thank <laughs> you.